I actually had to ask, what does no gorge mean though? Oh, um, I kind of got viral for saying no. No, and I okay. got viral for saying gorge. Gorge. So <laughs> you're no gorge. Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Violet Trotsky. And I'm Got Mick. And you are watching a very special episode of No, no Gorge. gorge. No All right, you guys, today is beyond, beyond, beyond special because we have our very first guest ever. Ever. I don't even know how to do this intro. There's like no words. Like I could go on for years about this lady. I know, she's an icon, a legend. I've never gotten to meet her before and she got here like 30 minutes ago and I'm already obsessed beyond <laughs> belief. So please give it up for the very first No Gorge guest, Dita Von oh, Wow, thanks for the intro. Wait, I'm the first guest? You're ever. First. No way. And we are starting strong. I know, wow. it's like downhill yeah. from this yeah. is I what. Know. I'm scared. <laughs> Dream now scenario. you're gonna be able to get everyone to do yeah, it. Probably, yeah. honestly, like, thank you. I was just like, yeah, of course I want to talk to them. I love that. Can yeah. you give us a letter of recommendation? Yeah, after? totally. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stamp of approval. Yeah, like, absolutely. Huh? That's yeah. everything. And we kind of have like a matching theme going on. I know. On. And by accident, I almost wrote you too. And I was like, what does your background look like so that I can pick out a good outfit? And then I didn't. Well, are we, we happy are. with it? We yeah. Really it's it. great. I love the hematite crystallized. Oh, yes. No other guest is going to be able to name the exact color of stone that yeah. we stoned the mice. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I love about you is that you are, I would say I've never met somebody who is more detail oriented mm -hmm. and curated and like just lives life in the most spectacular way than you do. Mm. That's a blessing and a curse. Yeah, I'm I'm you're Italian. Yes. It's like really, yeah. I mean, I call myself an aesthetic control freak, mm -hmm. but it can be difficult too because I'm very like I expect a lot. Right. You know, and I'm making this Vegas show is like, and for the first time ever, having a team like made a me like I had to be like, no, no, no. Like with my show, going, oh god, I need a picture of everybody's look because I saw a thing. I saw the stockings yes. weren't the right height or the you know no, like things like that. I'm going crazy over. You things have like to, that. and people that no no i mean i know you know this. there's so many eccentric people out there that notice those details mm -hmm. and you're one of them i'm one of them you're one of them you're doing the lord's work <laughs> dare i say like a glamour warrior yeah thank yes. you. i feel like that going into battle and that's why i feel like you're one of my biggest inspirations and oh, i always thank you. say I that i mean i always remember when i got the call that you were on drag race they were like there's a queen and get, listen to the like they're like there's this queen that's really inspired by you and we'd love it if you could make a little video i was like well get your cameras over here then and your good lighting and they're like no could you just do it on your phone they're i was like doing. no <laughs> I was like, and now, now I go, no, I'm more glamour. inspired by you because I needed, I needed like because there weren't here. any like filters or anything yeah that you could really use like on your phone. No, but I was even like, I'm not putting some janky like video up on Drag Race on yeah. television. No, no. And forgive me for not that. sending it. But no, the fact that you even yeah. considered doing it, I also it is wasn't enough. invited to the finale performance, and I remember being like, what? How come no one invited me to the performance? And it's literally so using me for my phone video. I mean, like, exactly. Yeah. So Dita coded. I mean. It, Luckily, they let me do a little performance, and it was definitely, I mean, always heavily inspired by you. I appreciate you saying that. Absolutely. Not everyone can say that, you know. Well, I don't know why. When I say, and I such... emphasize the word can, like they can't <laughs> say it. <laughs> I don't know why people have difficulty giving you your flowers. There's many, many people out there that I think have ripped you off. Let's just say it. I mean, they've, they've ripped you off completely. I'm one of them. <laughs> I mean, but, but you always like make it your own. And it's like, I'm, I've always been a cheerleader for you and love having you in my show. I mean, I like to put you in my giant glass. I know. I was even watching the video of me in your glass the other day, and it's funny because I put it up on my YouTube channel and I mm -hmm. titled it like Violet Chachki in Di Devontis' iconic mm -hmm. martini glass because. Which I appreciate. Of course. Well, A, I want to give you credit, and B, I want to let everyone know that <laughs> I was in Dita's glass. Uh, because of that though, people that search you, mm -hmm. my video pops up, yeah. and I think they're expecting to see you. And then in the comments, they're like, 
don't read comments ever of anywhere. It's I don't. It's hard. I'm I like, learn not to. You, you can't, but these ones are kind of funny and I like agree with them. They're like, she'll never be Dita. <laughs> <laughs> no. She may have Dita's glass, but she'll never be oh, Dita. I mean, that's no. and I'm like, well, you'll be Violet <laughs> Chachki. <laughs> She's like, sure, girl, go. Aww. I mean, how do you feel when you see someone that is obviously sort of taking your hard work it's a lot of work like we were just saying i mean it's i think it's it depends you know because i realize like burlesque has become this huge thing i never expected it to be you know when me and Catherine started working together in 2000 and then we, we were both performing burlesque before that i don't think either of us ever expected it to be like this you know right. so it's like really it's amazing i mean i'm really grateful i have this like long career too and that people are fans of burlesque and i'm not just doing it in the street club anymore and I'm not just doing it at the fetish party and so I'm really grateful to that you know it is as popular as it is right I had like my moments where in the early 2000s you know I had a big lawsuit with Sony Pictures which I won quickly, oh, I and, quick, me swiftly and easily because <laughs> um, we have a trademark and copyrights on the glass and choreo and everything I went on Pinterest and mm -hmm. I was like Dita Vajan T's iconic performances and looks and I was like going through and I was just like jaw dropped I was like she oh, really did just you. do it all like you would have been look at everything pictures of you all oh, day long and i was like I she mean, has found every object to ever be inside that you could be inside <laughs> like, like to ever Aww. be a glamorous woman inside of an object she has found every single one and made it glamorous <laughs> it is truly remarkable what you've done oh. and you've just trailblazed the industry to such an extreme level oh, well i didn't do it alone i talk about giving people credit Catherine delish like she and i met and it was like let's do this you know yes. like i couldn't have done anything without her like she always pushed me further and every time i do something something good or important like oh you know like a show or a magazine or something she'd be like you better live up to these fine words they're writing about you and I was like I gotta get to work uh, so she's always pushed that. me harder you know but and that's like what performance and showbiz and community is supposed to be about like that's whenever I'm about to go on stage I can hear like one of my drag elders back from Atlanta mm -hmm. being like if they don't know who you are you better tell them who you are mm -hmm. out there you better show them who you are and you better make them, make them remember who you are it's that mentality that showbiz mentality that yeah. I think keeps yeah. me going and it's nice to hear that it feels like Catherine was pushing you. Yeah, always, like since the, since the day we met. She was in Vegas with me um, for like the final touches for the show. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have different performers doing my numbers. Like there's a girl oh, doing the birdcage and there's like people doing all my all my numbers that I didn't want to do in this show. <laughs> There's just and, so many. You know, and so I brought Catherine. It's like, Catherine's the one that taught me the birdcage, and she's here to coach you on this. Okay, I love so the listen to cage. every word. Oh, we too see it now because oh. it's got all of the Jubilee, like the craziest Jubilee costumes that are from a number called Disco, and they're oh. very bird like. And it's. See, I never got to go crazy. see Jubilee. I can't believe you didn't get I to see it. You would have so died. Mad because it was I remember so you good. Went. It was like the highest level of camp you could even imagine. I mean, hopefully, some people watching saw Jubilee, but it was you yeah. just usually no, I didn't here. okay it was insane like I mean we're using some of the insanity in the show but you know the Titanic would sink on stage with 50 oh pounds of pyrotechnics God. a night and 300 gallons of water across the stage you oh know like it was a showgirl topless tragedy oh, I'm so it was so go. high camp it was crazy I was thinking being like oh Bob Mackey's costumes like Jubilee's closing like no it was, I didn't yeah. have the wherewithal to be like get your ass to yeah. Vegas I don't yeah. know what I was doing well, well the good thing is if you didn't see it you can see some of the best parts of it which are like the Bob Mackie Jules costumes and the Pete Menifee orange and pink feather headdresses and all, pretty much I put it in wherever I could Just anytime you want to come I'd love to give you a tour of it because oh, the backstage is insane it's the biggest stage you've ever seen Oof, I can't wait I'm so excited and I come to out of the ceiling like five stories up it's daunting are I was actually scared shitless. like with a harness or like some okay well you or? are you have a t I have a tiny cable here that was actually like fitted to a showgirl much taller than me mm, so it kind of like perfect. lands a little strange on me and we're fitting me for a new one Safety you know first. you're on a disc and it's this big you know it's like this big and you you have to turn yourself Oh, and you're so, turning, you're yeah, tiptoeing yeah. around. It's very exciting and it's cool. And I have like a b bunch of, you know, show guys in the show also wearing the headdresses, which for some people is blasphemy, but I'm like, I don't want to really hear no. about how your old gender stereotypes should be remain in place. And I don't want to hear about how you have to be, you know, a six foot tall ballerina that weighs a certain amount to be in the show because that's, you know, it was like that since the 50s. And, and it so closed. Let's, it closed. And so now we're revamping yes, it in a yeah. new way. And, and so I'm it like, needs... I'd love to have some show 
showgirls in there, but I'd like to have the former showboys that want to wear the headdresses for the first time in their lives. I'd like to have the older showgirls, like the Silver Fox showgirls and showguys. I want to have like the people that maybe would have been put out to pasture or weren't allowed because I just think like, why the old... The old, the old way of doing way. things. Like, what's the point of that? And We're breaking oh, boundaries over yeah. here in Vegas. Yeah. yeah, it's just fun anyway. What's the fun? It's, it's feathers fun. and rhinestones. Like, and also, it's a burlesque show. And I'm very, it's not a topless review. And there's no nipples. I want, I like pasties. pasties. I, I, every, all the, instead of walking like, you know, showgirls, it's like there's a warmth and a, an a sensuality and, you know, a sense of humor with it instead right. of being like sticking to all the old codes. But I love codes, but. Of course, there's a nice, it's nice when there's a strictness, but it's also yes. nice to bring in a new element yeah. Yeah. of like what, what you do. Like yeah. in your in your shows, there's camp, there's glamour, there's a strictness still, mm -hmm. but it, there's variety and there's range. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, you I, have to know the rules in order to be permitted to break them a little bit or bend them. You're like, yeah, I know, I know what broken. the rules are, but we should do it differently. I'm making the rules better. Yeah. yeah. I just cannot wait either. We're, I'm planning like a huge special trip because two of my most iconic inspirations of life are both having residencies. Kylie, yeah. Uh, you and Kylie Minogue. I haven't been yet. We should go together. Let's go together. Yeah. Of course, I got to tour with you in Art of the mm -hmm. Tees. Yes. Right that after. Was fun that was so much fun i loved having you on the tour it was fun it was so much fun and it, it taught me so much about mm -hmm. show business mm -hmm. and how to run a tour mm -hmm. and like what it means to be a boss and to be creative and to really mm -hmm. like be oh, detail it's oriented it's hard i'm not i don't like being a boss but you're yeah. so good at it yeah i don't like it i don't really like doing it either. it's hard it's hard it's hard but when i signed up to be a drag queen you know i'm like this is just going to be fun and i'm mm -hmm. going to make art no, that's there's a it. whole bunch of biz the biz of show will you share with us like maybe one maybe not the worst but maybe one thing that's happened either like a wardrobe malfunction i mean you were like... there remember that night i was inflamed and screaming you were there i remember that still I goes down that I still wasn't... goes down in history as one of the times that i've yelled like people have heard me like at my full volume i'll never voice. forget it iconic what happened well i mean it had, okay there had been build up to it you know like i get out of the glass and i do my quick change and you know there's like three thousand people screaming and I'm, the curtains are closed and while i'm drying off and changing and it, that involves like taking off my g-string taking off thing. like it's a whole thing you know like i'm buck naked flat-footed standing there like drying off quick. while she's doing this word all the guest performers are doing their, their bows mm -hmm. and people kept like flinging the curtains open <laughs> and there i am like again flat-footed and nude no. and i was just like what the f you know, like, so it's things like that where it's like if I see audience because somebody flung open, I was screaming. I've I was in never flames. Seen you because, go like that. but you know it what? It was me. because we, it had happened before and I kept going, you can't have, people can't do that. People can't like fling up the curtain. I need you guys to page the curtain and go through all the go, side. slip in, slink yeah. out. It had happened before, which is again, I go back to like, it wasn't right. the first time. The first time I was probably like, oh, you guys. Right. Like, you know, yeah. second time I was like, it happened again. You Third know? time. By then yeah. I was like, I was. Done, Third you know? time, they're just being yeah. inconsiderate at this point, you yeah, know? Yeah, it's just like, I remember looking at your face and you were like, <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Because I get like that. Because it's like you have a vision in your head of how things are supposed to be and how you want to present yourself and how the audience is supposed to see you, especially in drag clubs. It's just like they mess up the music. They put, play the wrong track. Just like simple oh, yeah. things Well, I mean, like it's that. like being in the strip club. Like it's the right. equivalent. There have been times where I just go out in a full costume, like ready, and I'm like turned around, and then like the wrong song plays, and I'm like, oh yeah, I, okay, mean, I guess I'll just do this one now, yeah. and I'm just like, whatever. That's showbiz. This it's is like something... stumbling into bad lighting in the nude is not what I want on stage. Yeah, well that, and on top of it, it's like not you work okay. so well, hard to get a drag club. club. I know, <laughs> right? Oh. <laughs> I would be traveling no around spotlight. spotlight. Lighting's a fine see. art. One of this this old burlesque queen um, from New Orleans once, I was like, what advice do you have for me? I mean, I was like super young. Because my best advice, f the lighting guy. That's who you want to <laughs> f And I was like, <laughs> oh, like, oh. But I mean, I took the lesson from it. I was like, I'm not f***ing lighting guys, but those are the first people I go over and, and make say, pals with. So and thank you Because I, you know, they can make or break you. You don't have to <gasps> Them, team, but like you, you need to like be nice like bake yeah, them a I'm cake down, or something go. <laughs> i see a spotlight i mean you do what you have to do you know yeah. but i'm it's just saying biz, like eh? i loved that advice and but i took it you know i don't think she meant it literally no anyway. it, i think she did <laughs> back in the day i don't know i'm saying like she was old school so you uh also integrated some of your most iconic numbers mm -hmm. yeah. in the show as well. Pretty much everything. Like I brought everything I have. Like my, I have a huge like storage unit place where it's like it, we ship things on, you know, the, all the, the glasses there, we call somebody and all it all goes. And it's like 
empty. I took everything with me, wow. even if I didn't know if I was going to use it. You know, it's just all just there. In so, mm -hmm, so just in case. Just in case. Do you ship those things? They're all in like big road cases, and we travel with a semi truck. So a semi truck uh. container, those get shipped by boat. To other countries so and then they, we put them on a I know yeah. like, like, and then they don't know the grunt thing. work yeah. behind the glamour yeah. it's no they don't know you know it goes they on a boat no and idea. a truck and it's you know I have a great crew you know great team and shout out to the crew oh. bitch because <laughs> those people I've gotten to work with them and they are top notch I mean yeah it's really. it's incredible mm -hmm. alicia alec they're like yeah. a blessing yeah. for sure yeah i don't know how i could do anything without them my favorite number every time i have like a love interest or any sort of anyone that i want to like give them a peek into what's inside my brain i show them lazy oh okay i don't know what it is about that number <laughs> that just like gets me wet you it should is... do lazy in the show oh my god i would love because you got a lip sync <laughs> and we could put pictures of all my exes yeah that's what i had originally you know in the real show i s would slip in a couple of my like flavors of the moment while i was performing oh, see yeah. i would like just for that. fun Stuff like that. that's so that. see the details it's not in the video because i didn't want anyone to yeah be of like, course not yeah but live performance you get to yeah. do whatever you want and i'd be like i'm taking this picture out of here really? yeah, yeah. yeah. You're done. Mm -hmm. and i'm obsessed for everyone watching and listening that when if you're wondering if Violet Chachki likes you and has a crush on you, she's about to show you a deed of on T's performance. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I heard about you, I think I was in high school and I was just obsessed with burlesque and fetish and mm -hmm. everything. And I remember, I don't know who it was, but someone was like, this girl is the most iconic person and her waist is the smallest thing in the world. And it's like Guinness records level. No, waist. it was And I never. was like the most basic question in the world, but can you like, what is the smallest your waist has ever been? You know, it's so funny because I've never, I rarely measured because it's never as exciting as it seems. Like, Sometimes because like you, you know, when in the early 90s, like, yeah, I was like, or I have some corsets that are like size 16. But it's like, even Whoa. when you measure it, you have to like take into account the bulk of the corset mm -hmm. is something too, believe it or not. And I don't know. I just kind of like, eventually I was like, I don't really care. Right. Like, I have a very malleable waist too. Like, I think it's more, probably more difficult for some people to, co you know, corset. It's more impressive. I just think it doesn't really matter if it looks, if it looks right, it is right. And I just don't want people to feel like pressured, like, oh, you By have to number. measure. Who cares? You know? I'm the same. People ask me all the time because famously on Drag Race, I said I had an 18 inch waist and I it was an 18 inch corset with a mm -hmm. one inch gap in the back. Mm -hmm. If I'm being okay. honest. I mean, but that's you guys pretty impressive. Me. I know. It, it mm -hmm. was when I was much, I was young, I was a twink. Yeah. Yeah. But you young... know, showbiz, you were exaggerating for the oh, sake of showbiz. It. it was specifically yeah. for a death yeah. runway. And there's, <laughs> there's been die. like the times, like Mr. Pro, I'll always remember this and I have the notes somewhere, but for pro, for the Gautier things. There'd be, it'd be laid out in the couture, like the more, you know, you give me a note, a handwritten cursive note, perfect. Like you can eat an apple, half of an apple at 10 a.m. You can uh, eat you the second half, notes? yes. You can eat the second half of the apple at 1 p.m. Like very like measured for the sake of the Gautier runway. I'm not trying to be a corset hero anymore. I've proven myself. I got the photos. You, you are the corset the hero. Phone. I am very relaxed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, you look amazing. You so look so cute. Incredible. You. I'm just relaxed right now. Yeah, very relaxed. <laughs> yeah, take I'm a load off, honey. Yeah. Chill out. Take a load off. <laughs> that is everything. <laughs> Your Gautier moments are some of my favorite moments of just like fashion history. Oh the oh skeleton. Thank you. Mine too. Oh my God. I was so upset because I did the Fashion Freak show and they're like, oh, you should wear that in it. You know, it was like in Paris, the mm -hmm. stage show. And I was like, good, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. And they, they, I go to put it on and I'm like, it doesn't fit at all. What's going on? What's going on? And finally I looked and I saw where they took the crotch up like two inches. I was so confused because they had it for like a mannequin. A like, oh, but it was, I, I was so mad because I was like, order. <laughs> what happened? And then I was like, did you did pulled out the out? seams okay, and I was like, God. yes, Wait, it's so exactly like you it did. I never want to wear the butterfly again, though. Oh, it's, I mean, so that one gorgeous. is that's the apple one. That oh. one is hard. I don't I'll work. I He did tell he did tell me action. it's um, yeah. let's get this one in it. He did tell me that it goes to me, which I have to follow up on and be like, by the way, remember when you told me that goes to me? Your retrospective is going to be king 
insane. Like, there's going to be a whole Dita Met Gala. It's going to be crazy. I've had to like before, like when Jean-Paul say like, uh, you know, like I'm wearing a dress and he's like, this dress is for you. You keep this dress. And I have to be like, did somebody else hear that? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Write that down. Yeah. So go, no, come here. Bring Could you say it one like, more time, again, Jean-Paul? A tape recorder. Yeah, totally. I've had to do that There's a few one times. Gautier dress. I, I think it's Gautier. It almost looks like shivari on the sides it has like maybe taupe or brown it's like a taupe color silk and it's um Ugh. like a tiny little pin tucks and all this mm. like mil like military braiding yes. right like a hussar yeah yeah and it's one of my favorites it is, yeah. when you wear it i'm just like it's just yeah. There's I mean, two all your like hussar just... style gowns. Like there's the black velvet one with the peach underneath, and I that was one that, that yesterday. it's the one that's like it's black velvet, and it's got all the military. It's a really famous one of his too from the hussar collection. Mm. Also, my favorite collection he ever did. That one, yeah, he gave to me. I wear it all the time. <laughs> well, I feel like you've had so many like I don't want to say errors because you always like it's right, always the same. I don't tomorrow, change. But like you went <laughs> yeah. through like a uh, like a sort of like flappery like more gothy era mm -hmm. there was like an x-rated betty page era there's like this when i see you at coachella you're in like denim and wedges and like <laughs> and I, we were just talking about like the art of drag as a whole and how mm -hmm. kind of recently in like the mm -hmm. age of the internet a lot of kids are just learning how to do drag right. from the internet so it's kind of mm -hmm. everyone's just kind of blending together yeah and it's so cool to see someone like you who it's like you can wear denim mm -hmm. and a wedge at Coachella mm -hmm. or you could be like in the most latex scary goth costume I've ever seen in my life <laughs> or burlesque yeah. and it always looks cool. yeah but like it still is true yeah I don't you. really like I'm not like someone who has multiple looks like I've been wearing the same hairstyle for I don't know how long but it sometimes it's longer and sometimes it's shorter but that's it like right. just, one time Sharon Stone told me she pulled me aside she's like and I you know I know her pretty well mm -hmm. she's like Dita I have to tell you something and I was like what she goes you have to change your hairstyle no. As you get older, you can't, people will compare you to your younger age. And I was just like, Sharon, I don't like any other hairstyles. And I don't this like is the other only, people's This opinions. is my only hairstyle. What I want to talk about too is your wedding dress mm. is just the craziest thing in the entire world. And then Violet. Uh, there's a dress that I'm really well known for, my step down dress. Yes, when I gave my crown I away. I believe I know the dress. I can't. I, 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 she had like a yeah. prosthetic crown almost mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. if people love it thank you guys for loving yeah. it and it was inspired by your is westwood westwood yeah, yeah, right yeah and i tried to find purple iridescent taffeta and i couldn't yeah. but you know it's not anywhere. actually purple it's blue up close it's red and blue silk woven together what it's not even purple do you still have it yes i do oh, it's I in my storage it's been it. not yeah you can you oh. can i mean it inspires me to the state. It's, it's red really and blue. Iconic. Yeah, it's so like it's silk it woven together and it just looks like it's purple wow, because of the threads theory. are perfectly woven together. It's, it's a funny story about that dress though, I have to tell you. It's like, I flew to London to meet Vivian and I remember I, I get sent into her office, which is like a small room like this, and she's sitting there. She had like sketched out this dress that was red and it had orange and yellow flames and it was like ripped out everywhere mm -hmm. and I had to tell her I didn't like the idea <sighs> and that I wanted something more classical. How did you Say that. It was so scary. She's she just, so I told cool, her, I was like, was like, I yeah. kind of, no. Oh. She dismissed me. And mind you, I flew all the way over. She dismissed me. And listen, like, it's not like she was did not, didn't, wasn't friendly with me or something, but she dismissed me and she put it all on um, her husband and he oversaw my dress. And it's one of the most beautiful things ever to come out of the couture for sure. I Even everyone that worked on it is like, it's their, one of their most like that iconic dresses. Dress is beyond i mean and the hat, the hat just, it, or oh everything the God. glam with it i could die it's and then everything i've Violet's ever wanted in my life dress that was inspired by it is one of the most iconic dresses in the in, drag space in the drag history yeah. like yeah. of all time yeah. the lineage continues the lineage. truly was your crown look inspired by like that dior show with the crowns like you know, the regal the one. one with the orbs and the crowns because i have a good story about that yeah so. no, it was it was you know those dresses right so the after Galliano. i left when i left um vivian's and i was like i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't know if she's making my dress or not i think she hates me i called up alexi who's john galliano's partner who was at dior at the time and was like i don't know what to do i might not have a wedding gown to wear right so they sent they sent like five of those dresses from that show to los angeles by oh. the way and those okay all of that dior couture that is massive it they live in these huge 
wooden crates, okay? And you know how tall those girls are. Huge wooden Yes. Crates. And they're in an undisclosed location in the French countryside, Hopefully, right? Nobody knows where those controlled. are. So anyway, me and Catherine, and we we didn't have, there was no like camera phone yet, really. Right. You know what I mean? One of so razor. me and Catherine go over to Beverly Hills. And I remember we went to go park in the back and all those crates are there. So there's no parking in the back. And there's these giant crates, wood crates. <laughs> and we go collection. in and like, first of all, like, yes. And they bring them in and they're all standing up on their own. And just also don't forget those models are like super tall. So I'm literally like, how? am I going to get in We're going to have it. Like, we're laughing like schoolgirls. Oh, like I on video. Swimming in these dresses, trying to, like, figure oh out, walking on these little stairs to try to, like, dip in. And they just, the people that lurked in Beverly Hills, they never even seen those dresses. That you know, level, they just let me, yeah. like, wild with them. And I still oh always, God. I saw John Galliano was at my house about a month and a half ago to talk about corsetry mm -hmm. and to go through my collection. And I was like, John... I'm never going to forget when you guys sent all those dresses over. And he's like, yeah, isn't it hilarious? Like, oh he just used to have the best sense of humor about, like, sending me the most outrageous things to wear. And I would do it. I just, he'd be I like, mean, I don't know how you do it, but I would get some safety pins out and start, like, figuring it out. Yeah, figuring out the hem. Hem. Yeah. 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 Wearing the biggest going. shoes I had. Weird. We were just on our Patreon. We, like, answer questions. Mm -hmm. And someone asked us if we could walk in any show, what show would it be? And that was mine. Because I was one, like, yeah. oh, my God, the theatrics, the artistry. That like, one that. The one that the with the chair, you know, the Japanese inspired one, which was <sighs> like I was in tears over how Anything beautiful going that on. You got to go sit front row at all of these when fashion was. It was like real. the perfect time. I'm so lucky. Oh, you're, you're so, so lucky. So lucky. Yeah. There's that one photo of you in Paris, and you're that in that leather outfit. Oh yeah, and it's like I'm. It was Galliano. I love that outfit. And you found me that leather yes. outfit. I got reunited with it. Was it was like some. I follow mm -hmm. so many vintage stores. I mean, I'm like oh a shopping God. addict. That's like the nicest thing you've ever done for me. Really? <laughs> Actually, it's the nicest thing anybody's ever. It's done It's like for my me. favorite look. It's I can't pick a favorite look. I don't no. even it was know. like I was in you in that leather that. with all the people behind you in Paris, and it's just knowing that you were leaving front row from Galliano. It's just <laughs> it's just I can Nick, and you have to have that. Yeah, and I didn't get to keep that one, but like I used to always ask. Like sometimes I just like I gotta have And you this. deserve it. Like, it such was great. Those shows were fabulous. Oh, like, Peter, I'm gonna die right now. Such mm -hmm. an incredible era. Era. I'm like, yeah, I so, feel like I saw so some generous. of the best. I mean, that's so cool. You have your own lingerie brand too. I do. And, like, yeah. I was buying lingerie from anyone. Oh, trusting you. Wow. And I've been rocking your lingerie for a I while. I know. I've got to bring you some more lingerie. Yes. You can never. I have will, enough lingerie. I will bring you more lingerie and bring you some lingerie too. <laughs> Thank you so much. I yes. have to like, you have to go on the website and pick out what you like and just tell me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I like the overwire stuff. You do a really I great know, overwire I bra. Yeah. I There's so awesome. many good vintage Violet got like, me into modern. an overwire and mm -hmm. I'm obsessed Yeah, you're now. overwiring yes. now. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you had to pick one out, ah, it's so hard. I can't, I could never do it. So I can't one imagine outfit. how you could do it. Pick one of your favorite look, your favorite look ever that you've done or costume. Costume? We can do look and costume look if you want. Costume. Oh my God. Later, I'm going to go home and be like, no, that wasn't it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's how I was just looking at photos of you. I was like, this one's definitely mm. my favorite. Wait, no, this one. Like, it's yeah, crazy. I mean, costumes would be really hard because, like, they're always like a moment that was, you know, really special, you right. know, like, especially with the stuff with me and Catherine because of there's course. so much, like, so much excitement putting into it, you know? That, like, like diamonds one. Yeah, that's, like, that it's, one like, was really special. With that yeah. on stage. Yeah, I know when people think it's like oh. electric. Like oh people that were god. like, oh god, was that plugged in? I'm like, no, it's just Swarovski the way crystal. Those bigger stones. People don't understand that a different stone will give a different sparkle. And yeah, cut. Yeah, the fancy cuts. I have a new one in the Vegas show that Catherine did, and I, that's that's it. She's never doing another one for me. That's it. She's done. I don't she believe that. She dropped the mic. No, right. she's I done. I don't believe that. She's literally at like all. never doing another one again. But it is a. It's got the biggest crystals you've ever seen on it. It's wow. a beast. I and it looks, wait. it's insane. But I don't know. There's one moment I always remember the first like really extravagant thing that she made for me was the carousel horse look. Oh. And there were so many feathers and that top hat. And I always remember coming out of the dressing room with this like, I was just performing as part of this burlesque show. Were you like, on point in that one? No. Mm -hmm. Yes. And literal like jaws dropped and there was silence and crickets and people, it was like a, out of a movie because there was nothing like that. Like nobody made something like that for the burlesque shows. And know? that's the and feeling I feel really like we always doing. chase we're like yeah, I, yeah. Want, I want to gag people without even doing anything just mm -hmm. like look visually totally. that's yeah. amazing
good. That's a good one. Yeah. Well, I cannot wait to come to I Vegas. I can't wait for you to come. I am so excited. Oh I heard we're getting a backstage. Yeah. 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 So, what are the dates coming up that we can catch you? Um, let's see. I mean, they're all posted on my socials and Ticketmaster and everything. I'm on Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays, select weeks, like quite a few weeks coming up. But through April, there's dates right now. You said until April? Up. Yeah. Yeah. No. So, but we're, I'm sure it's going to go beyond that. Well, I think Vegas is, they better be ready, is all I got to say. Uh, I mean, they're lucky to have the word you. Out. Get the word the out. Back. There's a lot of great things going on, basically. And I'm just like, like right across the street from Drag Race, too. Did you oh, ever do that okay. show or no? Um, no? It was my idea to do that <laughs> Are show. you serious? Yes. But, oh, my God. Um, no, we went to go mm. see it, and it was interesting. Yes. Mm. <laughs> 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 uh, hey, if you guys come, we'll go for a cruise out on the town in the Liberace car. Oh, oh my God. No Gorge on the road. Yeah, we will. No, Absolutely. we will. That'd be so much fun. No. And all of our No, no Gorge listeners and watchers are 100% coming as well. You'll probably like see whatever. me there. I feel like I'm yeah. going to go more yeah. than once, I think. Yeah, yeah I, you're going to move to Vegas come. just to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so oh, much for being here. thank you. It was here. really fun to talk to you. It was so, so fun. fun. Oh, my God. Like, these I iconic stories. I do this stories. all day. I know. It's so fun. Thanks for buttering me up all this time. I know. I could do it. I'm gonna we be like your, I'm gonna be your second guest, your third guest, just because I'm gonna want the compliments. Yeah, we have a monthly appreciate data episode. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We we could go with these stories. I mean, it's just you've lived such a rich life, and thank you oh, for sharing it with us. You're not dead yet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we got more things to do. Thank you so much, Dita, and thank you guys for watching. And make sure you tune in next week for another episode of No, no Gorge. No Gorge.